Now we're going to go overseas and the new video released by Hamas of an Israeli-American hostage who was severely injured in the October 7th attacks. His parents are now responding and will join us live in just a few moments. But first, let's go to our foreign correspondent, Tom Supi Burge in Jerusalem. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, Hirsch Goldberg Pollen, who was born in California, seen for the first time in captivity in Gaza. The 23 year old speaking under duress into camera in a Hamas video, saying he's being held in, quote, hell underground. Shalom. Call me Hirsch Goldberg Pollen. This morning, more than 200 days after the world saw American Israeli hostage Hirsch Goldberg Pollen, with his arm badly injured, put in the back of a pickup truck and taken into Gaza. Hamloum, hamloum. The first clear proof he survived that deadly attack. Hirsch sitting upright, appearing under duress, with a shaven head and missing part of his left arm, blown off on October 7th when terrorists threw grenades into a shelter when he was trying to evade capture. Hirsch addressing the camera in Hebrew, saying, Mum, Dad, Libby and Orly, I love you very much. I miss you very much. And I think of you every day that I'm here. I need you to stay strong for me and not stop fighting. Hirsch also demanding the Israeli government do everything in its power to set him free. His parents wanting the world to watch that video. We're relieved to see him alive. What we are also concerned about his health and well-being, as well as that of all of the other hostages, and all of those suffering in this region. Hirsch, if you can hear this, we heard your voice today for the first time in 201 days. And if you can hear us, I am telling you, we are telling you, we love you, stay strong, survive. The video of Hirsch spurring his supporters onto the streets. Protesters clashing with police overnight near Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu's residence. Well, protesters are out on the streets tonight in Jerusalem. They're blocking the road. You can see the police are trying to drive them back. These people want a deal to set the hostages free. It's thought around 100 hostages are still being held in Gaza. Hirsch, one of five Americans. And guys, right now, those hostage and ceasefire negotiations appear to have stalled. And in fact, the Israeli military has made advanced preparations to try and move hundreds of thousands of civilians out of Rafah in southern Gaza, with the Israeli government approving a ground offensive on what it says is Hamas's last stronghold there in the coming weeks. George. OK, Tom, thanks very much.